It has been four days without a refrigerator, which means four days without cooking. So tonight, I think that we gotta change it. Because of the whole no refrigerator situation, I will just have to make sure I get food, cook all the food, and then eat all the food in one night. But for right now, it's Chipotle and going to work in about a half an hour. For the very short time that I went to college, I used to come to this diner like every day. The school is right around the corner, so it makes sense. But it definitely feels weird to be back. How you doing? Delivery? Yeah, 47 minutes. to that door, right there, right? Sure. Well, you gotta love not being let through the front door, but on the bright side, look at this big ass service elevator. This thing is gigantic. Ah, the garbage room. Elevator. You have no idea how much self-control it's taking for me not just to press every single one of these. I can only get a little bit because of the whole fridge situation. It just started raining out, so I beat it by like five minutes. Now, because of the whole no kitchen situation, there's a very specific way that I have to cook here. Normally I would cook the pasta first and then the chicken after, but because of the no refrigerator, I kind of have to cook this first today. Why is my, <laughs> my cutting board getting a little slippery on here? I like to pour in the wine before the chicken is done cooking because I feel like it sort of cooks into the chicken a little bit and it gives it longer to evaporate all the liquid and stuff out of it so it's just the flavoring. we go that's how i cook a very decent dinner with no fridge only one burner and not really a kitchen